Hi everyone, it's Mike here. I'm sharing with you the really unique experience of sitting on a rock directly below a beaver while he eats some leaves right above you. All of these clips were filmed on Canada Day and took place on the rocks just below the Shakespeare on the Saskatchewan site here in Saskatoon. So I spotted Chewbarca the beaver on the rocks and I snuck up as quietly and slowly as I could. I have a feeling Chewbarca is nearsighted because he doesn't seem to notice me if I'm moving towards him very quietly. So he was sitting between some rocks and I maneuvered myself to try to get in for a, a good angle so I could videotape him as he was eating. After a while, he decided to head for higher ground and uh, started uh, reaching above where I was sitting, which I thought gave a very cool perspective. Um, the rocks and the trees were making it difficult for me to get a good angle, especially considering the sun was to the west and I didn't want the light to be directly behind him. So here's just a couple of brief clips as I was moving around trying to get a decent view of him. Finally, I settled in on a rock just off to the uh, south of him and was able to get a decent view as the uh, branches were blowing around. It was very windy. Um, I actually have the original volume set at about 25% because the sound of the wind blowing through my camera microphone would have made this unwatchable. It's still pretty loud, but it's much less than it was. I do find that the beavers don't spook as easily when they're on the rocks. I think it's because I don't make any noise moving around on the rocks when they're down by the water or they're in the, in the trees. Uh, the gravel and branches and leaves are very crinkly as I move, but I can move very silently on the rocks. Uh, and since uh, I think they're used to my smell, uh, once I take sound out of the equation, it is easier for me to get fairly close without spooking them. And because I just use a little handheld point and shoot camera, I can actually move it around in one hand to try to get some interesting views uh, through the branches. Uh, here, <laughs> Chewbarca started crawling towards me and then went up. So uh, now she's on a rock that's basically directly above me. And I was looking up at her belly as she leaned forward. Um, but of course, it was mostly obscured. So I had to turn off the camera and stand up and shuffle around to try to find a, a, a view through the branches. Um, I just realized I called Chewbarca she and her a few times there. Pretty sure Chewbarca is a male. Uh, in the three springs I've watched the beavers, I've never seen any nipples or boobies on this beaver. I spent about 15 minutes in total uh, close to Chewbarca on the rocks. The video is only about five minutes because I wasn't always in a position where I was able to get a, a decent view of him. Um, so I tried to share the better clips. Um, in a moment here, he turns basically right over top of me and right to the other side and just gives a really unique angle. It's I think probably quite rare that a person would get to watch a wild beaver from this sort of an angle as it's eating on some rocks. But um, I was just so fortunate that uh, I was able to sit quietly and witness all of this and, and record a lot of it to share with you guys. In any event, the video is uh, almost near the end here. I hope you enjoyed it. I just find it magical to get to 
sit so close. I wish it wasn't so windy because I could very clearly hear all the chewing sounds, but uh, unfortunately my microphone likes the wind more than it likes the chewing sounds. Um, so keep tuning in. I hope that every day I find something interesting to share with you guys. Have a great day. Cheers.